right, Oval fans, you're probably thinking, Jeremy, how come you're doing a video that's not a trailer break? Okay, trust me. Mid-season finale is next week, and for whatever reason, mid-season, season finale, or season premiere videos and trailers for whatever, I, I guess this must be the title. Those videos tend to do very well, even if it's a lackluster show that, like, ambitions to some people didn't like it. I loved it. I, I put in season finale trailer breakdown video did numbers but when it comes to like any other video it doesn't do well but i i did watch the oval and I, I i'll talk about this more in my episode review and sorry guys that video is going to be delayed as well as sisters because i just recorded four have and have not videos and i still got four more to do i still need to post well i've already done it but i haven't posted my unboxing video yet i'm still going to do it this weekend and for the Oval and Sisters, I got the episode reviews, and I will do trailer breakdowns because the trailers for next week look really good, believe it or not. But with the Oval, uh, long story short, I just finished the episode, and it was so slow. I was so frustrated because I'm behind on everything. I decided to watch the episode at 1.5 speed, and I didn't miss a thing. And that just showed me how slow the episodes are. But again, I will talk about that more in my episode review. But during the last second, and I'm not going to show the clip because, well, it was a bit, I don't even want to say graphic, but it was just like, Tally was an awful house guest. And I've already done a video about, you know, um, I remember a couple weeks ago, it was one of my favorite oval discussion videos about whether or not Nancy, you know, if I were Nancy, or if you were Nancy, would you help out Tally? The what? She she took her own life. She put, put, a, put a gun in her mouth and literally pulled the trigger. What kind of bull crap is this? Okay. Number one, and I've already went over all of her transgressions against, you know, the Nancy household, if you will. I, I forgot the last names. I, I'm pretty sure they mentioned the last name. I honestly don't really care. I know Richard, Nancy, Barry, and Sharon being Barry's girlfriend. She's staying there, too. And so was Callie. When she was still there before she got kidnapped. Okay. So Tally is present during the abduction of Callie. So number one, you break into Nancy's home um, and you assisted in the abduction of her granddaughter. So that's like what? Trespass trespassing as well as child abduction. Uh, then on top of that, you once again break into her home looking for a safe haven because you wanted to leave the cult. So once again, you are breaking, entering, trespassing, whatever. Then on top of that, um, you know, um, as a show of good faith, you know, Sharon helps her out, fixes her dinner, fixes her a plate of food and whatnot. Nancy's still, you know, aggressive towards her for good reason. But then like the next couple episodes, she calms down and they talk a little bit and you're not even telling where your, her granddaughter is. All you're saying is how the cult moves around and, how, um, you know, you had your own child and you left her there and you talk about God. And then the next morning, Richard comes in and talks with her. And then from there, she actually does something good. She has a picture of her child and has all the addresses of the known lo locations of the cult. But since they're still moving, there's no guarantee any of these dresses addresses would be valid because they could be outdated there could be a new location that they went to that they don't know about so then she asked richard to record her on the phone about her last will and testimony and how hey i have uh I, honestly i forgot if she said she had multiple children or just her daughter but in any case she wanted nancy to, and richard to take care of her children and, I'm, and then richard cut the phone off you're like oh what's going on you're not going anywhere and she's like i'm sorry for this mess and then she killed herself. So not only did you do what break into the house multiple times, but you finally gave over the helpful information that Nancy could have gotten from you last night if you would have given it to her. But then you leave this, then you want to not only leave this horrific image in Richard and Nancy's mind of you killing yourself in front of them, but then leaving your bloody corpse for them to clean up. Obviously, you know, they would probably call someone to do that. But you leave your corpse there for them to clean up. 
And then on top of that, you expected them to take care of your children. Like, man, get, no, get out of here. Get out of here, Tally. Terrible house guest. I know this is a random video to make, but I was just so mad. I, I, I felt like if I did an episode review, all I could talk about is that. Because to be completely honest, not much happened in the video. I mean, episode, like I said, I watched it at like 1.5 speed because it was so slow. And even at 1.5 speed, it felt slow. I did try to watch it at two times the speed, but then the talking sounded like that. But yeah, um, when it's when you speed up the episode, you I feel like that should be a fun challenge to do. Every time you watch an episode of the Oval, just take out a notepad and like write down a tally every time. No pun intended, because tally is the name of the cult member. Just tally mark every time someone says sir or ma'am. Trust me, that's a fun way to go past the episode. But yeah, this, this, this was a terrible character. Um, I feel bad for Nancy and Richard. Like, they, as if they haven't been through enough. Like, Nancy will never forget the image of all those cult members storming in on her and Callie. And now you left this horrific image of your, you know, taking your own life. And then leaving the body for them to clean up. And then you had the nerve to expect them to clean, to keep your kids when, when keep your children or child or children when number one, haven't even found their own grandchild and they're having a hard time making ends meet and hell Richard's still unemployed. Yes. In the episode, Hunter said he would rehire him. But as of right now, Richard doesn't know that. So Richard's unemployed. I believe Nancy stays at home. Sharon is the only one in the house working. And then Barry wants to get on her case because She's going back to the drugstore and it's like, look, I don't, it don't, I don't know if she's involved with this drug ring that Picky said that Kareem and Sharon were dealing with. But as far as I know, I don't think we've ever seen Barry working or if it's been mentioned that he has a job. So Sharon is the only person in the house working and you want to tell her not to go to work. Shut the hell up, Barry. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Even though I'm not the hugest fan of the Oval, it's videos like this that I actually enjoy making because it's so ridiculous. But let me know your thoughts on the end of the episode. W was it shocking? Yeah, but it was more annoying when you listen to everything I listed out. But leave your thoughts on it. I, I, I'm glad Tally's gone. She was just a bad character, terrible house guest. No, no respect for the kitchen walls. It's like... Um, like who who would want to eat dinner in that room now? I was like, remember that girl shot herself? It's like you know, you put a fork in your mouth. That girl put a gun in her mouth and took her own life. Ain't that something? Okay, I'm not joke. Uh, okay, subscribe to <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you check me out on social media. Links are in the description below. And um, I, I I'll catch y'all guys later. This is too much for me.